I think climate change is one of the biggest issues facing humanity. There's not enough being done about it. We are running out of time, which might sound dramatic or might sound like scaremongering, but it's the truth. As an individual, or even as a small company, it's quite easy to just jump to, how on earth am I going to have any sort of impact? But that's the wrong way of looking at it. I think we all need to do what we can. So that's what we're all about here at Eva's Organics. It's developing ways of farming and growing food that helps curb the effects of global warming and climate change. I'm Robert Simpson, I work for Eva's Organics, a small family run business started by my parents 20 years ago. We grow and deliver organic fruit and vegetables here in North Cumbria and we also make award winning apple juice. The story of Eva begins in 1998. We started buying in organic fruit and vegetables and just sharing them around the village basically. It turned out that what most people in our vicinity wanted was fresh fruit and veg. So we started expanding the business in that direction and an obvious next step was to grow our own produce. The first polytunnel was built in 2004 on Low Luckens Farm in the valley of the River Line and now in 2019 we have 11 polytunnels and over that time we've been gradually building up the range of crops that we can grow and our aim is to produce organic fruit and veg all year round. In 2016 a major milestone was Robert joining the business. That was made possible by the fact that we have started an organic apple juice business and Robert is driving that forward. My background is in environmental science. After getting my degree from Birmingham University, I came back to Cumbria to help out on the farm when I heard that Dad had suffered a heart attack. I wasn't really planning to stay, but the more I've been getting involved with the business and seeing how it runs day to day, the more I've been getting interested, the more I've been enjoying it. In our orchard near Carlisle, we grow seven varieties of apple and we have over 600 apple trees, as well as pears, plums and cherries. It turns out that each year we have a surplus of apples. We wanted to make the best use of them, so we decided to turn them into juice. We make the juice in small batches. It's very much a small-scale artisan product, and we, we've done this by choice. We feel that we want to get the freshest tasting product possible. When you go into a supermarket and pick up a bottle off the shelf, you can be pretty sure that it hasn't been made with the same care and attention, not just for the product, but for the product's impact. The most obvious example being that normally conventional orchards are sprayed 12 to 16 times per season, whereas we never use sprays. It's not all about the money, it's about being a conscious consumer and knowing where your food comes from. The thing is, it's not just a business, it's not just a family business. We are in a process of developing a way of life that could be extended much more widely than this 16 acres in the top right hand corner of Cumbria. We grow all our crops sustainably without pesticides, without artificial fertilisers. We're certified by the Soil Association and we use a compost that's locally sourced and peat free. Everything we do here, we're thinking about what impact we might be having on, on the planet. My mum and dad have put years of work into this. I've learnt a lot working alongside them. In terms of looking ahead to the future, some things we're working towards are becoming completely self-sufficient in electricity and water supply, becoming carbon negative, and developing an agroforestry project and a new orchard that as part of the system doesn't just produce healthy foods, it increases biodiversity and tackles climate change head on by sequestering carbon in the soil. Working alongside nature is at the heart of Eva's Organics. I genuinely feel like this style of farming is what the world needs more of.